Welcome to Hoffman Porsche. I heard through Frank Paulowitz, uh, your first contact from our business development center, uh, that you've chosen the Porsche Macan S. First of all, congratulations on finding the best vehicle in its class. Um, I understand that uh, from your time schedule, you have only 10 minutes to buy this vehicle, so I better get busy. I got a lot of writing to do because there's a lot of you here. Um, just a uh, quick overview, you know, we're, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the car. You know, please ask me or interrupt me at any point with, with any questions. We're going to go for a drive. Uh, we'll talk about uh, financing or leasing monies near historic low, um, won't be an issue. All our vehicles are pre-delivery inspected and ready for your immediate delivery uh, later today or at your earliest convenience, possibly tomorrow morning. With that being said, this is the new Porsche Macan. It is not the newest vehicle in its class to the market. It is a midsize all-wheel drive, uh, but it being a Porsche, Germany's icon brand, it is without a doubt the finest. You don't have to take my word for it. I have clients all the time bringing me articles, heck, even non-car magazines. The Wall Street Journal, a lady brought me recently, one of my clients, an article said, look, I bought the best car, it says so right here in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, you'll notice on the vehicle that it's a very clean, organic shape. This is very uh, typical of Porsche. If you look at the uh, iconic Porsche 911, the silhouette really hasn't changed in 50 years. And, you might say this is an SUV. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the Cayenne's gonna be celebrating 20 years shortly and you can see the profile of the Cayenne really hasn't changed much either. They've given this a lot of thought being that it wasn't the first one to the market and um, they knew they had to raise the bar. This is a great engineering company. Most companies uh, sell millions of cars a year. Uh, Porsche had their biggest year ever last year in the United States. They, they sold 54,000 cars and they threw themselves a party. They were all excited, you know. That's about five days worth of cars for everybody else. That lasts us a whole year. The ratio of engineers to the other companies which help makes this a better vehicle is astonishing. The companies that uh, build a million plus cars a year, they work with three to 500 engineers. As I mentioned, we delivered 54,000 vehicles here in the States and worldwide it's not a huge number either. Everything all in, it's about 200,000, which is the first time ever that big. But these 54,000 vehicles for the US were designed with five thousand engineers so it's literally for every 10 vehicles there's an engineer which is unheard of so in order to raise the bar they had a look at the SUVs and it being a Porsche they had to make it an ultimate driver's car so they had to look at it and make it fun to drive and figure out what to do better most cars just have a stamped unibody platform and then they just attach everything to it and go after the impulse buyer Porsche decided to take a different route. They looked at how the wheels are mounted. After all, that's your contact patch to the ground. And they came up with a unique solution where they specially reinforce the suspension mounting points. And they learned from the Porsche 911, which, was a rear, or which is a rear engine car, and it rotates gently through the corner. They wanted to apply this technology to the Macan, so they did something very interesting and very unique in the business. From the midsection back, they use flexible, lightweight, high-strength steel, so the vehicle literally, when pushed, rotates slightly through the corners, giving great enjoyment and, and, and fantastic handling. You know, these, these lessons are all well learned. Uh, just to put it in perspective, you know, the iconic 911 uh, represents less than 1% of the vehicles ever built. Um, yet they have over 40,000 world championship titles to their name. That's more than every manufacturer on the planet combined all time. Um, when you look at the shape and you see that it's an organic shape, it's meant to be timeless. Same way the 911 is also and our, our other products. Uh, they want you to have and feel pride and ownership and there's no built-in obsolescence. For strength, they use boron, high strength, lightweight steel. Don't even get me started on that. You know, our US government used to build space shuttles and rockets. They were built out of boron, high strength, lightweight steel. Somebody in Washington decided they could save a half a percent and canned that program. So Porsche has been buying a lot of the boron and 
putting in your cars. Um, this vehicle is designed to absorb a tremendous amount of impact without transmitting it to the passenger cells. So in other words, the engineers made sure that this vehicle gives its life before it asks you for yours. It's also a very clean design in the sense that it's aerodynamic. If you look all the way even to the back, even the taillights are self-cleaning. Thought is put into everything on the car. The materials used on the body are much different than that on other vehicles. Most car companies will give you a five or a seven year up to 100,000 mile warranty for no rust through. Well, it's okay, I guess. Porsche set and raised the bar. It's 12 years, unlimited miles. But I think, honestly, when they find out here in Connecticut, <laughs> that here in Connecticut we use uh, calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, and heavy salts on the road, they might think twice about <laughs> changing their warranties. Uh, this is a all-wheel drive platform with plenty of low-end torque, great room utilization, a large trunk in the back which can be accessed three different ways off of a key fob, off of the door, or a concealed button in the back. There's plenty of storage like most vehicles. It can be very utilitarian, seats fold down independently. You'll find all of the things that you're expecting and more in the design of the cabin of this vehicle. What I personally particularly like is that this is a height adjustable rear tailgate. The reason why I point that out is because a couple years back I had the misfortune, I got an autograph on my head to prove it. Another brand that wasn't height adjustable, um, well they had to just glue my forehead back together. It's probably part of the reason I am like I, like I am. All right, in any case, uh, like I said, a lot to do in 10 minutes, but uh, I'd like to also show you the inside of the vehicle, uh, just let it be known that it's form following function in general inside and out on the Porsche. You're gonna have all the amenities that you would be looking for in a modern vehicle, whether, whether it be uh, for safety, we have an adaptive cruise control which is above and beyond what you see in the TV commercials. They show cars at highway speeds, 22 miles an hour. This is actually a military grade one that even functions at 130 miles an hour. You, you're asking what, why would you need that or what's the benefit? Well. If you're driving long distance or you fell asleep or you had, God forbid, a, a heart issue, whatever, and the car was accelerating, this vehicle will slow itself down and stop. It will not let you run into a vehicle even if you are accelerating in a health emergency. So there's a lot, a lot of thought in it. Besides all the amenities that we're used to of heated seats and steering wheels and all these things, they pay attention to the details. The seats are also cooled, but not just cooled. I, I mean, there's other companies that do that. Porsche installed fans that wicker away the moisture to keep you cool and comfortable. They personalize the seats. There's three different types of seats available in this vehicle to fit your unique body and comfort level. Let's go for a quick drive. We're back. <laughs> We're out of time. We're back. Uh, just. As promised, you can see the Porsche delivered with the great handling, the incredible visibility, everything that you expected. It delivered everything that the other vehicles promised you and didn't deliver on. And that's what the Hoffmans do, and that's what we do at Hoffman Porsche. We deliver where the others fall short. I don't care if you're in for your first year service, which is free, the intervals are once a year every 10,000 miles, or God forbid you need major collision repair. Need major, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for bringing that up. This is the largest piece of, alum of aluminum in the automotive industry. This is not a section piece. This is a one piece. It weighs uh, 20 kilograms, which is 44.1 pounds. So it is a very impressive piece. All our, you know, we have a number of engines available. You asked specifically for the Macan S, which is a V6, 340 horsepower, 340 foot-pounds of torque. These are all usable real numbers. A lot of companies rate their, give you the ratings off of the engine. This is to the wheels and all usable power. First of all, the Lexus is an incredibly good and reliable vehicle. I've owned them in the past for my, my family. Um, it is a mass-produced car, so it's, it's, it's appealing to a, a little different audience. 
This is more of a, of a driver-orientated car. This is more of a uh, mass, mass appeal type car. Regarding safety, I will point one thing out um, that the Lexus is based off of a front-wheel drive platform, it's, which it shares with the ES and the Camry. Okay, so it has a little different weight distribution. Now there's two types of safety. There's active and passive safety. This Porsche has a very neutral handling element, so it has much better active safety. It's able to maneuver in and out of situations better. It comes from Germany where there's no speed limit. You have better and stronger brakes. There's nothing wrong with, with uh, the Lexus. It just depends on what your needs are. Uh, from a construction point of view, the Lexus is a fine automobile. There's a number of differences. As I pointed out, the, uh, the way the car is put together is entirely different. To be truthful with you, uh, the Porsche family owns a lot of companies, including Audi, Bugatti, Bentley, Lamborghini, etc. Um, so they actually looked at the Audi Q5 platform as a starting point. And what they did is they just took it up several notches. As I mentioned, they totally altered the steering geometry, the suspension mounting points, the weight distribution. They even center you behind the steering wheel on the Porsche, whereas with the Q5, you sit a little off sides. They improved the braking system. They upgraded the engine system on the car. They greatly improved the visibility. If you sit behind the wheel of the Q5 and then you sit behind the wheel of the Macan, it'll speak for itself. There's much greater visibility. The Audi is a fine product, but it's in a different price range. Uh, the horsepower is more or less in the same range. I mean, you're, you're talking within 5% of, of the horsepower. The torque curve is different on the car. The transmission sets up, setup is different. I didn't even get to get into that, but this has Formula One technology. It's two double-stacked automatic clutches. Um, like I said, the Audi is a fine car, just a, probably a little different type of a buyer.